Tops gallants, royal studs. Some cargo from the wreck over here, sir. Brief it on. Subway! Do 
damn the devil! What happened here? Kesegawase. Well, then we are too late. No. Fort Fredericks is nearby. I'm sure the Colonel can hold it. You heard the Captain, lads! Make haste! Loose and cut the wind! Four tops loose! Loose on! Call in the stunts! Hold down! Hold down! Keep her safe while I'm God guest. Aye, Captain. the word. This is Kasegawas's work, isn't it? I believe it is. But I've not yet seen the devil. The manuscript. You keep it safe. Bring it to the Morrigan. That's an order. Who are you to give me orders? 
I outrank you. I'm not part of your army, Colonel. I'll take care of the defenses until you get back. Are you sick of what? Sick. Do you truly believe you can best be traitor?
You will, traitor! Kisigawase. It didn't have to be this way. It did. You are an enemy. Achilles will see you dead. What he's doing is wrong. Who are you to touch? The Templars will fail. You will fail. Monroe is already dead. What do you mean? Liam... Uh, 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 uh. The Colonel was heading for the docks! A huge man with an axe was chasing the Colonel!
He's trapped inside! Help! Save the Colonel! <sighs> The manuscript. An assassin took it. Liam. I'll get it back. I swear it. Shay. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order, and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar. Harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father, Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide, guide us. us. Do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shay Cormac.
Shay has seen the true face of the world. And he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. I did not think you'd get this far. <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work. But a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. Come on, you've come a long way, but you're not done yet. Get to the servers. at restoring these servers now, so no more excuses.
Do you want to know what happens next? Numbskull, get to the next server. servers up and running. Now. Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Macandal was not one of them. Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Lille, the Templars made an example of Macandal by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell apart. When his comrade and childhood friend Agathe fled to Louisiana, Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandal's brotherhood. Madeleine saw Baptiste's potential and instructed her Templars in New Orleans to strike a deal with him. If he could draw Agathe out of hiding and eliminate him, he would be granted a place in the Templar Order. Although Baptiste was killed by the assassin Aveline de Grand Pré, his path clearly demonstrates the inherent superiority of Templar ideals over assassin terrorism.
I'm just saying that Violet didn't have to yell at us. Fixing the elevator before she did. Ugh, kill me now. Why? I would, but she would just have you brought back to life and put you back to work. Shit. What's happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Chase back at Notre Dame. See if you can complete the memory this time. Shay's in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family.
Thank you, Shay. Please, wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. Did you do that? It was quite fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today. Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. we can do for now. We keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Shay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damned sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you have seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but a tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them, and Haiti falls, or... Lisbon, or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity near Lugeberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. 
Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint him. I don't plan to, sir. Guest, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the Order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duly noted. When his money's all gone, it's the same old song. Get up, Jack! I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damn continent. I fear it would take more than that, friend. What did that Frenchman say? A few acres of snow? He underestimated. Mates out! Let's go! Crowd it all out! Loose sails! Let's catch the wind! They fishing him to break the topsails and garlands! Ready the whale boat! As we were fishing off Haysboro Line, when the wind blows, we'll all pull together. Let's get started! Come in, Captain! They'll tie her out soon enough. Stop! Stay sharp, man. Deadly, man. This one's dangerous. Forward! Forward! Hold fast! Hang on! We're off! Success! Yeah. Yes! We're heading for the ice! Lost them! Look out! Forward! 
Do you see anything? He's coming for us! Straight ahead! Hold fast! They'll tire out soon enough. It's a hit! Good hit, Cap! Ah! Yes! Hold up! Ice! He's weakening! Hang on, He's man! Stop the line! Has the help. Get the maid sails into the wind. Come on, those sheets. Lose all a trip sharp.
Loose and catch the wind! As we were fishing off Haysboro line, shooting and hauling and trolling all night in that windy old weather, stormy old weather, when the wind blows to the hole together. When up jumped a herring, the queen of the sea, says now, old skipper, you cannot catch me in the windy old weather. Stormy it's a fresh beat here, weather. sir. Trim the yards off the wind. Or last the harpoons. As we were fishing the haze for all night, when the wind blows, we'll all pull together. There's our prey. Stay sharp, man. Forward! Forward! Throat secure, Captain! Hold steady now! Hold on! Ice! I don't see it. Watch in, love and bell. Throat <laughs> secure, Captain. Hold steady now. We're for the eye. Hang on, man. Oh. 
Back to the ship, man. It'll be ours another day, Captain. Spread our wings to the wind. There's fish in these waters, Captain. All quiet, sir. There's nothing out there but ice. Enemy ahead! Ready cannons! He's off the wind! Oh, man. 
With an armada in tow, concentrate fire on the flagship. If we sink her, the rest may lose their courage. Quiet, sir. There's nothing out there but ice. Gist, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the Order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. 
Duly noted. There she is! The HMS Pembroke. Captain James Cook's ship. She's a beauty. Man of war. Hurry up! We should bring the warrant alongside. Master Kenway will soon be ready. Hey! Fire! On your mark, Captain! Cannon ready! about this voyage around a warm fire. Mates out! Let's go! Come on! Spread the fire! 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 Ready to fire, sir! We're safe! All set! Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormac, Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack, Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real uh, firepower. I believe I shall, Captain. There she is! The HMS Pembroke. Captain James Cook's ship. 